Praise the Lord. This is my testimony to Brother Kenneth Copeland and Sister Gloria Copeland's ministry to KCM and all of you. I love you. I have been taught by this solid, faith-filled ministry for about 12 years now. So I have a solid foundation of faith in my life. Thank you, Jesus, for that. I want to thank you for the word of truth you're bringing, for the solid word of truth. Jesus told us to stand upon the rock. But if it were not for the ministry of Brother Copeland and Sister Copeland, I would have never known where to find this rock to stand on. I have a solid foundation of faith in my life. Thank you, Jesus. That's the rock on which to stand on in this life so that when the flood comes, your house will stand. Hallelujah. So it is the rock upon which to build your house and the house is your life. The rock upon which to build your life is the Word of God. I um, have followed for about 12 years, like I said. I have been taught by those faith-filled, Word of Faith teachings. And um, I have been so blessed. There was a time in my life, some years ago, many years ago, when I was faced with a financially impossible situation. I remember that I, I was believing in God. I was believing in God. The situation was financially impossible. It was not possible. There was no option. There was no way. It was either trust God or that's it. And I remember sharing with a brother who was going to the same church I was going. And uh, we were also going to a, a faith-filled church, believing church. So um, we were also going to a faith-filled church. But I remember sharing with this brother and he said to me, this is impossible. I told him what I believed for and his answer was, this is not possible. Yes, he was very sure of it. And... Um, Hallelujah. So I was facing a, a financially impossible situation. I was going to a faith-filled church. I shared with a brother from my church what I was believing for. He said, this is not possible. But I kept believing in my God. I wasn't moved by uh, what he said or anything at all. I kept believing in my God. And did he do it? Yes. Yes. Not only he did it, he did it exceeding abundantly. Hallelujah. That's how our Lord does. And uh, then again, during the years, I have stood many times for healing. I resist symptoms. I don't allow any symptoms to come on us. Uh, flu, sickness, pains. No, in the name of Jesus. They, 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 they can't stay they must go in the name of jesus and they go in the name of jesus amen and um, sometimes it's flu and some kind of uh, temporary things like this that attack people and sometimes uh, the devil has tried to bring uh, sickness on me something latching maybe something more serious or something that was trying to stay on for months he was trying to put something on my body so not like a flu or something but something more serious he was trying to put on something on my body and then I stood on the word for months I stood on the word for months and did I see results yes praise God everything is gone that doesn't belong in our lives thank you Jesus the thing is gone everything is gone that doesn't belong in our lives thank you Jesus um, I am grateful grateful brother and sister Copeland we truly appreciate what the Lord has been doing and is still doing through your strong ministry of faith. Our lives have been transformed, forever changed and blessed and many others have as well. We want to thank you for your work and labor of love and faith to the Lord our God. Truly, many have been changed and uh, God is still continuing to do the work through you and to bless and to reach the lives of millions, countless millions around the world. And we thank you, honor you, love you, appreciate you, brother and sister Copeland and KCM. 
and we thank the Lord our God forever. And to God be the glory in Jesus' name. Amen.